For pretty much all of history, we've seen forests from the ground up. We see the trunks, the leaves, and the obvious struggle for light. This view was shaped by Charles Darwin's theory of evolution, which often gets boiled down to survival of the fittest, a world where individuals compete and the strongest win. In that version of the story, one tree's success has to mean another's failure. But in the last few decades, a different story has started to take root. It doesn't cancel out competition, but it does add a surprising new layer, cooperation. And this story starts by looking down into the soil. Underground, the forest floor is woven together by a sprawling, intricate network. It's a living web that some scientists propose connects the roots of individual trees, sometimes over huge distances. The thinking is that this underground system acts as a conduit, a biological marketplace where the forest's residents can exchange resources and information. It's a concept that has totally captured the public imagination, suggesting that forests might work less like a group of rivals and more like a collaborative society. The idea is so powerful because it flips our whole perspective on its head. Instead of just individual trees, it asks us to see a single, sprawling superorganism linked by an unseen intelligence. 